So they're saying, okay, we sometimes hold Krishna's feet, but all the time we embrace him. And so you, you get the opportunity of always holding Krishna's feet, and sometimes you embrace Krishna so tightly, then union. So what austerities did you do? Tell us your secret, please. Be kind and merciful, Karuna. So then the gopis conclude, what austerity did you do to be firmly embraced by Sri Varaha, Krishna's other form? Thus there is no woman more fortunate than you, says Vishwanath. This very wonderful commentary by Vishwanath. And verse 10 of chapter 30. And we have, we spoke, have a few words to say also. Based on one point of Jiva Goswami Tika. This whole section, of course, is a narrative. This whole, I was explaining in the Ras Lila description, there's narration, there's dialogue, there's monologue, and these are the different aspects of the drama. Like we have Alita Madhav, where we have Ras Lila. This is a drama in one sense. It's Lila, it's Nitya Lila. And they're having conversations and all the aspects. There's scenes and acts. Five chapters means five acts, a five-act drama. Like Jagannath Vallabha Natakam or uh, the uh, Alita Madhav is most famous for us in drama, Gaudiya's. So then there's the acts, and inside the act is a scene, so many scenes. So in the scenes, there's conversations, there's action, there's narration. So this whole chapter, the whole chapter, chapter 30 is only narration. Shukamuni is describing, the gopis are speaking this, and the gopis are speaking that. And all the gopis are speaking called monologue. Only one gopi is speaking. No one's replying. There's dialogue when, when the gopis, when Krishna speaks to the gopis in chapter 29, preaches dharma, go home and do your ashram dharma and varna dharma. You shouldn't be here. And go, go practice gyan yoga, meditate on me in your heart and worship me in my deity form. And it's better than being with me. <laughs> and all these things that he preached also to the yagya patnis. And they went back. The gopis said, nothing doing. We're not moving one inch from your feet. Our feet refuse to move. So then Krishna spoke, and then it's a dialogue. Then they replied by speaking Pranaya Gita and 11 verses, uh, verse 24 to 34 in chapter 29. Then Krishna submitted, okay, all right, I, I, I surrender. Then they started Ban Bihar and walking together, Krishna gopis and singing appreciating the full moon and, and all the fresh flowers and, and beautiful scenery at night and each other. And then, poof, Krishna disappears because he saw Sobhagya Mata, says in Sanskrit, Sobhagya Mata. They were gopis. He said, oh, the gopis are proud of their Sobhagya, their fortune. So I will disappear for different reasons. So now we open in chapter 30. The whole chapter, there is no Krishna, only gopis searching in a desperation and anxiety. So how is it, the question is asked by Jiva Goswami, and we're presenting it, how is it that the Braja Gopis know about Krishna's Aishvarya and his majesty, Varaha avatar, Vaman avatar, when they're always loving Krishna as a charming youth of Gokul, just our village hero. He's the star of the village. The Acharyas explain that during times of separation, the gopis can somehow recall and understand the formal, powerful aspect of Krishna. It seems that the Braja gopis know and are aware of all Krishna's previous avatars and, and his mystic and cosmic forms, his Paramatma and his Virata Rupa and all these things, when they're separated in Viraha, Vipralamba, but when they're personally with Krishna, then yoga maya, gatana agatana patiyasi shakti. Gatana agatana patiyasi shakti. This is Krishna's power, or you can say it's a power outside of him. It's like an aspect of yoga maya that can make the possible impossible and the impossible possible. So this is gatana agatana, gatana agatana patiyasi shakti. So the gopis, when they're with Krishna, they forget everything. And then they just think, he's, he's a beautiful boy and we're beautiful girls. He's a Braj Chora and I'm a Braj Chori. 
and we're just we play we're playing lila means play let's go let's go swimming okay let's go swimming and they ostensibly they're supposed to go swimming and be a very peaceful swimming but krishna is very chalak krishna is very chalak and very unpredictable so the gopis and krishna they go into the yamuna or manasik ganga or bhavan sarovar and they say okay let's swim and and everyone born in Vrindavan, they know how to swim. All the coward girls can swim back and forth, Pavan Sarovar, no problem. Coward boys, it's, it's natural for them. They're all natural swimmers. So they go there and they're expecting to swim and, and Krishna starts splashing water and it's a big brawl and a big water fight, Jal Kali. And then the gopis say, all right. And then and their bangles, bangles are slipping off and they cost a lot of money. And their mother, their mother-in-laws and father-in-laws who gave those bangles when they got married, and Jatila, hey, where are those bangles I gave you? So she'll get in big trouble. So the bangles are slipping off Radharani's wrist when they're playing Jal Kali. So what does Krishna do? Because he's a servant. Krishna serves us and we serve Krishna. Krishna ta- he immediately picks some lotus flowers and he breaks off the lotus flower and offers it to Radharani. And he takes the stem, the lotus stem. I don't know what the name of this kind of thing. And he ties it around Radharani's wrist and put, ties it with a knot to keep the bangles from sliding off. And he says, okay, let's keep splashing. <laughs> because Krishna's caring for Radharani. He doesn't want her to get in trouble. So it's a win-win situation. The water fight keeps going on, but Radharani doesn't lose her bangles in Pavan Sarovar. <laughs> and then... <laughs> Ananda Kanda Bhagavan Aki Jai.